flavors in top papers We played whistle crib with them box razors Chopping on the block like a sensei Eliminating ops, we in first player You dress to see me ball, Mr. Credit Sager Before I had kids, a picture of my safe was the screensaver She cleaned the crib and lace, she a team player I'm on to the next like a speed data I want the big checks like a pair of blazers I pinned this off the top, I'm a hell raiser The effing hair triggers, the hair razor The basketball players are brick shavers The niggas with the bitches are body layers Ski mask like this to Alpalacious But it's summertime and we out of patience you Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir Yeah, yeah, yeah Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you And I'm the best reporting on the Eagles Before we get into the meat and potatoes I gotta let y'all know this video was brought to you by Print Champs Big Print Champs in the building Bringing you everything you need Ski mask, Howie shirts, Hurt Season hats You know what I mean? From the Hem Collection, the Purple Hem Collection Truckers, all of that You know what I'm saying? Hurt Season snapbacks all over the place Y'all know how long we've been doing this And how long we've been the leader In terms of, you know, putting out fly and dope merchandise Make sure you tap in, Ski Mask, Howie shirts, all of that Let's get into the meat and potatoes So the Philadelphia Eagles continue to do some work on the offensive line They continue to do some work on the line in the fashion of a former first round pick, very experienced, you know what I mean, guy in the National Football League, DJ Fluker. Um, I believe he was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens. I think he ended up in Jacksonville. Let's read let's read a little bit about him, man. This is coming from um Sports Philadelphia, NBC. And it reads, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles are working out veteran offensive tackle DJ Fluker. Um, according to the report, Fluker lost over 40 pounds. Looking in immaculate shape, man, from the video um, that I saw. Uh, he's 32 now, hasn't played in the league since 2020. Um, that was the, around when he played with the Ravens. A former first-round pick out of Alabama. Um, 11th overall. So, this, listen, listen. He played in 108 career games, 96 starts. Fluka was a star for the Crimson Tide, and when he was coached at Alabama uh, by Eagles offensive line coach Jeff Stoutland for a couple seasons before getting drafted in 2013. So that's the familiarity, man. Stoutland knows that when he brings him back to Stoutland University, where he ended up a number one overall, this team ain't playing, bro. Listen, this team ain't playing, man. It's strategic. It's like chess. You know what I'm saying? It's the battlefield. It's the battlefield. This team ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? And I adopt the mindset of this team. Listen, you can adopt the mindset of the Philadelphia Eagles and apply it to everyday life. What are they doing? They going for it. They going for it. They going for it, bro. And you and you got to respect it, man. You got to respect the moves that's being made here, man. I like it, man. I really like it, man. I don't know if he fell out of favor with the league, if he got kept getting out of shape or wasn't motivated. I don't know what, I don't know what the situation is. But Stoutland got him to be in one of the best offensive linemen to be drafted that season. Now he's coming back to Stoutland University as a rotational piece. What are we doing here, bro? We're going for it. Duh. And it feels good, man, with your team going for it, man. So, you know, I'm all for it, man. Get a big guy a chance. He deserved it. Um, Nicole B. Dean, man. Nicole B. Dean was really impressive in this press conference today, man. You know what I mean? Um, Nicole B. Dean ready. Nicole B. Dean's ready, man. And he was just saying some stuff that just, he just sounds like a leader to me, man. He a young leader, man. A young leader. It's no coincidence that reportedly it came out in this presser that Howie Roseman was calling him up, asking him about these guys, Jalen Carter, asking him about these guys, Nolan Smith, Keely Ringo. You know what I mean? Asking him about these guys. He was the leader. He was the one that's saying, you go here, I'm going here. This was going to happen. He was the leader of that defense, man. We forget that. And he asked Nicole B. Dean, you know, well, how did you feel not playing as much? Listen, the team was rolling. It ain't even about people being on one-year deals at that point. Because if you trash and you're on a one-year deal, I mean, you got to come out for somebody else who was a high draft pick. But if your team don't lose until week 10, what are we doing here, bruh? People act like they forget the ins and outs of football when it comes to, you know, having to admit the Philadelphia Eagles doing something right. They act like they forget it, man, when it comes to admitting, you know, that things are being done right in the city of Philadelphia. But why would he have came in and broke up any of that cohesion that was built last year? It's his time right now. His time right now. You know what I mean? He gave him a nice quote from, um, I think, his high school coach or his college coach. He said, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. There's no in-between. Nicole Dean says that he feels like he is better at every aspect of his game. 
I believe that with the type of intellect that that guy got. You give somebody as smart as Nicole Dean a year to sit back and watch? Sit back and watch. Take a little bit from TJ Edwards. Take a little bit from Kaiser White. Take a little bit from the other guys. Take, come on, bro. He had a front row seat. A front row seat to the linebacking core of the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC Championship game. He had a front row seat to a Super Bowl defensive line. He was there. You, 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 he was there. You know how much experience was 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 banked by some of these young guys last year? So, you know what I mean? I think N'Kobe Dean is going to be phenomenal this year. I think he's going to be one of the leaders on his defense. I'm calling it now. N'Kobe Dean will be a top 10 linebacker in the National Football League this year. His first start. His first start. You're going to get interceptions, sacks. You're going to get everything from N'Kobe Dean this year. I'm telling you now. N'Kobe Dean is going to be an animal. And he's going to be the one to turn the tide on this defense. I'm telling you, bro. I got high, high hopes for N'Kobe Dean. Um, so then we get to Devontae Smith. Listen, these, these I Am Athlete interviews are getting people in trouble. They're getting people in trouble. You know what I'm saying? First, you know what I mean? D-Hop say he don't want to play with Dak. Then Smitty go on the joint the very next day, and they asked Smitty um, what did he think was probably the biggest reason why they lost the Super Bowl, and he said the turnovers. The offense didn't take care of We as an offense didn't take care of the ball. We didn't take care of the ball. And, you know, um, it, got, it, it got our rivals a little hot and bothered. You see Law Nation, Law Nation. Oh, he throwing Jalen Hurts under the bus. You got this foots, foots. You got foots running around now. Foots talking about uh, 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 what are you talking about? What does Jalen Hurts do better than Dak Prescott? Newsflash, Foots, everything, everything, Foots, everything. He does everything better than Dak Prescott. He plays football better than Dak Prescott. How about that? Football. He plays football better than Dak Prescott. But it is what it is, though, man. So you know, they thought that this was going to be their moment to break the Philadelphia Eagles because Smitty said what he said. They like, yes, this is going to weaken them. Turmoil from within. Where there's smoke, there's fire. They thought that this was that. But we are not Dallas. They so used to dysfunction over there that they don't know what's they don't know which way is up sometimes. We not y'all though. This ain't do nothing. First of all, Jalen Hurts already, you know what I mean, talked about this being his fault. He already said that this, you, you know what I mean? He already talked about the turnovers and how it could have affected him. Now, if you want to be for real, if you want to be technical, we already know every, everybody with a brain. We can agree on this. We already know that the loss wasn't even on the offensive side of the ball. Let's be 100 about this, bro. We needed eight to tie it up. The offense did that. Five minutes left and get the ball back. I almost wish now, in hindsight, that they would have went for an onside kick. That way, at least San Fran, at least they wouldn't have ran the clock out. Maybe we could have held them to three. They used the whole field, used the clock up on us. You know what I'm saying? But you know that's that's neither here nor there. We all know that it wasn't on the offense. It wasn't on the fumble. They didn't take the lead with the fumble. The fumble ain't happened in the fourth quarter on the game winning drive. So no, you didn't fumble the game away if you Jalen Hurts. You didn't. It's unprofessional of Devontae Smith to even say it's the defense. Because we not Dallas. This is what it looked like when you throw a quarterback under the bus. This is what it looked like. Your team's, Insta, your team's Twitter account blatantly, they, they do that. They do it that way. We not y'all, bro. We not y'all. We not y'all. If you listen to the whole interview of Devontae Smith, um... Even speaking today, he was he also was one of the guys interviewed. He talked about how everybody takes accountability and accepts accountability in the locker room. It's, listen, we know what this is. We know what this is. I'm going to take accountability for the offense. He said us as an offense. He didn't say Jalen Hurts. Us as an offense. The whole offense feel like they're going to take accountability for that while saving, while saving, you know what I mean, the pride of the defense who we all know really let the team down. So, no. Devontae Smith didn't throw Jalen Hurts under the bus. Devontae Smith answered that as best as you probably could answer it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't deflect. He kept it a bean. Because the facts of the matter is, the way the offense was moving, if you don't fumble, you probably get some points. There was no cap in that. But was it a reason you lost? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I'm standing on that. We went into half up 10. Went into the half up 10. 
Tie ball game, five minutes left. Don't get the pill back. Don't get the pill back. So you know what I mean? It is what it is in that regard. So we're not going to, you know, worry about that, man. Listen, man. Leave your comments. Everything. I want to know how y'all feel about the topics we talked about today. I got to go back to the studio. I'm cooking up this album for y'all, man. I'm telling you, bro. This is hands down the best body of work that I ever put together. The hands. This is this is a second project, but I, I I'm getting better. I feel like Nicole B. I'm getting better and better. 